Hello friends, Cheryl here with Inked Pulp, and we're back with week 48 of the Marguerite Miller Challenge. If this is your first time to my channel, I welcome you. I hope you like what you see here, and I hope you'll decide to subscribe and come back and see more of my videos. If you're a returning viewer, as always, I appreciate your support, love you bunches, and I'm glad that you're back with me again. All right, let's see what the prompts are for. Oh, before I forget, if you guys will click that thumbs up and give me a like, that would be very, very helpful. All right, the prompts for this week. A repeating pattern, a tea bag cover, something that sits on a table, something soft, numbers written backwards, oh boy, and a bonus is wrapping paper. All right. I decided to make this a Christmassy theme um, because we're getting awful close and I think it's time. So I have this, this is tissue paper which can be wrapping paper and I have this little um, you know what though? Hang on a second. What do I do with the rest of that wrapping paper? Um, hmm. They're kind of sideways, but that actually isn't going to matter once we get everything down. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started here by putting down... Oh, come on. My brightness all of a sudden went down. Brighten it up just a little bit. There we go. All right. I wonder if I have. If I took a couple of these ink pad holders and put just sort of underneath the middle. That'll help prop it up. All right. Let's. I'm still getting used to this new camera of mine. I was trying to mess with the zoom this morning and it wasn't working so I don't know what's going on with that but I don't really need it today so lots of glue down so that tissue paper holds. I don't know where I got that tissue paper. Actually it probably came in some gift I got and I just saved it. I've had it for years and years. I don't do a lot of um, Christmas like journals and ephemera and stuff like that. I just I never have. I love Christmas. I just don't do a lot of the Christmas artsy stuff. Although, in our Art Before Breakfast coming up, um, we are going to make a Christmas journal. So if you'd like to be a part of that, we meet every day except Sunday and Thursday. Every other day, though, we meet at 8.30 a.m. Eastern on this channel. It is a live session, and uh, it's very interactive, so you get to participate. Well, now it's too bright. Okay, let's see what we can do here to regulate this. All right. Lost my, my glue cap, which I need to keep my glue dry or wet, not dry out. Um, so if you're interested, we do some really fun things, and it really is interactive. So um, you get to have input on what we make, you know, what colors we use, what items we use. Um, that's all part of what our participants get to help with. 
so we'd love to have you. It's a fun group. It's a very welcoming group of people, and we're always getting new people that come in. They may only come once or twice, or they decide to stay and do the whole thing with us. It just depends. All right, let's... Cut this out, and then we'll get to going. So I had all of my, I have a box full of Christmas ephemera, and I had pulled all of that out because, you know, I was going to use it for our Christmas journal, and since I had it out and I sat down to do the Marguerite Miller, I thought, well, might as well just do something Christmassy. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do something Christmassy. All right, there we go. There we go. Got some angels. Let me see if I can get this back up on here because that was kind of working. All right, there we go. Got some angels. Now, another one of the prompts was something soft, and I have this little piece of fabric that I'm going to make a pocket out of. and put it down here. Oh, let me make sure I've got it. Just barely. Now, what I'm going to do here we also have something with a repeating pattern. And so I think I'm going to take this ribbon and just hold down the pocket with this because I have a card here and if I need to cut off a portion of the card I can. I cut that really tight. But I'm going to Move this up and out of the way, and we'll go to the back. Well, no, we're going to put this on the front side. Um, and I'm just going to put... Oh, that's a Mary Englebright card. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here. And along here. And along here. And this is just going to sit. Ooh. Got a little bit of extra glue. Let me find my paper towels here. I'm going to block that up. I was going to put this ribbon somewhere else, but since I need it here, We'll put it right here. Okay, come on. Stick down there, and then we'll... And this will be our repeating pattern. The little snowflakes. And then something soft will be the fabric. I'm going to cut these all just a little bit bigger and we'll see. Maybe we'll want to leave them bigger. But if not, I can always cut them off. And a little bit down there. up there. 
All right, that's going to go there. And I don't think we want to leave them over the top here. I think we want them all to be cut flush because I don't have enough room really. So are y'all getting in the Christmas spirit? Hope y'all had a happy Thanksgiving. We had a very quiet Thanksgiving at my house and it was wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. All right, so that's going to go down there like that. So we'll go ahead and put that down. Again, I'm going to use the um, Fabri-Tac. Oops, I left one long piece up here. I gotta cut off. I gotta cut this one off. Alright. And then let's put this down here. So that is our, and this is not quite straight, but that's okay. It's just a little bit wonky. Now, I have two things that go on a table. I have this Christmas cart from Mary Englebright, and it's blank on the inside, but a Christmas card would definitely go on a table, I think. And I think I'm going to have to cut just a hair off of the side here to get it to fit properly. I'm going to let that glue dry. And then we'll stick that card in. But we can work on the other stuff. Um, all right, let me see here. Let me... That should be enough. I don't think I cut it exactly even, but that's all right. That is all right if it's a little bit off. I don't think anybody's going to notice. Yep, that's going to fit in there better. And you can see it's a little bit wider down here at the bottom. Maybe I should fix that. So now that Thanksgiving's over, are you all gearing up for Christmas? I really try hard to enjoy each holiday as its own holiday and try not to, you know, mix two holidays together like Christmas and Thanksgiving. Okay, that's going to go in there like that. That is something that sits on a table. I also have this little sticker that's a snow globe. And it also sits on a table, and I thought I would put that down here on the uh, pocket. But we also have a call for a, a tea bag cover. And so I thought I would put this on here and then just... Um, one of my friends recommended some tea that comes from England. And if you're watching this, you'll know who you are. And this is one of the tea bags from that tea. It's really good too, by the way. All right, let me... Um, I think I'm going to do that Fabri-Tac because that's kind of a heavy little sticker. It's a snow globe sticker. And a snow globe also sits on the table, so... So we'll put 
this here. And then we put the whole thing down on the pocket. just about got everything. Isn't that a pretty little Christmas collage? You know, I don't know. I guess if we took the formal definition of collage, I don't even know if there is a formal definition, but I'm guessing that this would not necessarily be considered collage because I'm doing a pocket and something in the pocket. Um, but, rather than just gluing down pieces of paper, which is what I think of when I think of collage. But that's alright, because um, it can be anything we want it to be, right? Alright, let's see where we're at. A repeating pattern. We've got the ribbon, the tea bag, table soft. All right, the only thing I have left is numbers written backwards. And so what I'm going to do is take a piece of this coffee dyed paper and I'm going to practice first on the back of this envelope. And we're going to put December Twenty-fifth. Is that good? Numbers written backwards? I think that'll have to do it. Let me get my pen. Which I thought I had out here somewhere. There it is. So we're going to say... December... Twenty... There we go. There are our backwards numbers. So I don't know if I should have put 52 if it meant backwards that way or just each number backwards, but this is how I interpreted it. And I think that's what it's all about, is however you interpret the prompts. So, let me see here. I have got my vintage photo here. We will ink it up. And let's get my glue stick out here because I don't think I need heavy glue for this little piece of paper. But we'll put December 25th right up there. And then the, the uh, prompts can go in this little pocket behind this guy. Alright, so let's go through it and make sure we have all the prompts. We have a repeating pattern, which is this ribbon around the pocket. The tea bag cover is behind this little snow globe. Something that sits on a table. Well, we have the snow globe, and then I also have this card that would sit on a table. Um, something soft is this soft fabric. Numbers written backwards. We have the 25th. And then the bonus wrapping paper is this tissue paper for the background. So that's everything, folks. That is our Christmassy Week 48 for Marguerite Miller. What do you guys think? I think it's just adorable. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, would love to hear from you. 
And I'll go now, now that I've recorded mine, I'll go and visit everybody else's. I don't do that until I've done mine. So there it is, week 25. Please give me a thumbs up on your way out, and I will see you next week. Bye.